light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Down. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. We can begin preparing for the interrogation.
Eyes on the bandit. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike One is authorized to assault the alien craft. That's what we're Eyes looking for. Target. Chalk up another one. So, how'd it go, Doctor? Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. You're saying that thing spoke to you? Not precisely. But when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned. Recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's thought patterns several times throughout the procedure. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were... And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head, too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. this new artifact as soon as you return. Is that all that's left of the specimen we attempted to capture? Yes. I believe we may have found the source of the strange readings we picked up when we first encountered it. What is it, Doctor? We're not exactly sure. It's organic in nature, yet highly magnetized, and it appears to resonate very faintly within a specific electromagnetic spectrum. It is currently unclear how or... Perhaps that's because this is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. If what you're saying is true, this object is an antenna. One that's receiving a signal. That signal? Can we trace it? No. At least not yet. We would first need to determine its encryption algorithm. My team can handle that. In that case, I will focus on constructing an interface between this object and our global communications array, which we'll need to trace the signal. Then it looks like researching this crystal should be our top priority. We have an eagle over these coordinates. Recon satellite Delta II is just coming into line of sight now, sir. Coming on screen. Nothing. No. That's impossible. I know it's there. 
Switch to thermal. Hello. Give me subsurface. Gotcha. Reestablish comms with all the men on the ground. Think of what we might find once we get inside that facility. Imagine what they might be doing down there. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, we found it. Now how do we get inside? I thought you'd never ask. Looks like they've changed their tactics. But why? Why do this? It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them. Heading into China for the next operation. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a densely populated urban center. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian casualties. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike One has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Move your ass! You're safe! Everything by the numbers. Thanks to Dr. Valen's research, and some clever developments done in engineering, this skeleton key should allow you to breach the alien compound. We've only got one chance to make this work though, so let's make sure we do it right. So far, we don't have visual confirmation on the hostiles. I wouldn't get too comfortable, though. We're expecting heavy resistance. They're probably moving into position as we speak. Target acquired. That alien is clearly different from the others. It's wielding a power unlike anything we've previously encountered. their device. The aliens are running out of secrets. It's imperative that we begin the research as soon as possible. Now that we've captured this device, we should probably be expecting the aliens to pursue us more aggressively. I doubt losing it was part of their plan.
Roger that, Voodoo 3-1. See you inside. Central out. Something wrong, Doctor? Don't you think a victory celebration is a bit premature at this juncture? We just neutralized their central command. We've got no other alerts on the entire system. And we took out their leader. In my book, that's a win, Doctor. that I'm not the only one who understands this war isn't over yet. The existence of this artifact, which we believe to be a communication device of some kind, begs the question, if the sectoid commander was the alien leader, then who or what was it communicating with? I believe this is indeed the same creature we encountered when we made first contact with the aliens. As we have observed, it is somehow capable of using its mind as a weapon. If we were to study this specimen's brain tissue, perhaps we might be able to adapt this ability for our own purposes. What the hell? Sir! Internal systems are shutting down all over HQ! This is Central. Security status red. Repeat. Tripped. We have a breach! Hostile forces have infiltrated XCOM headquarters and are moving in with reinforcements. We have to protect the base at all costs. If we don't hold the line here, any hope we had of stopping this invasion will be lost. Delta Section, report. Delta Section, report! Finally. Delta Section. It looks like your emergency generators are back online, and oh sh... Delta, whatever this attack is, you're right in the crosshairs. We've got perimeter alerts triggering from all sides. It looks like you've got flyers coming through the cavern near the rear guard station. Plus, you've got a whole wall of heat signatures coming down through the vents in the ceiling above you. Whoever breached our internal security locked down the door system separating you from the rest of the base. Once we get the doors open again, we can start sending reinforcements through, but that might take some time. Right now, it looks like the closest alarms being triggered are in the vents above you. Keep an eye out for any indications of movement. Delta Section, you have to hold the line. The future of XCOM is counting on you. We made a statement here today, Commander. They came after us, our people, right at the heart of our operation. And we showed them what happens 
Now I think it's time we take the fight back to them. Hang in there, soldier. Having to fight our own people. Will he be okay, Doctor? Yes, I believe he'll recover. And more importantly, he seems to be free from outside control. Is there any indication of how this happened, Doctor? I finished our initial scans. And so far, I found no physical abnormalities. We already know the aliens are capable of some kind of mind control, Doctor. Yes, but that doesn't explain the lack of a nearby controlling alien, or the sheer number of victims. If the aliens were capable of launching an attack of this scale previously, I believe they would have. Perhaps this was a one-time opportunity. That might be true, but we still need to find out how this was possible. Commander, our latest candidate is different. We're picking up levels of psionic energy unlike any we've detected in the previous tests. Ever since mankind first looked up at the stars, we have wondered what lies beyond. So very few have dared to look in the depths. The depths of the human mind hold more secrets than we can possibly imagine. How ironic that the means to defeat our enemy comes not through weapons or machines of war, but from the sea. And if we have succeeded, we will have gained a glimpse of what we are to become. We will have created something extraordinary. Wait, what did you do? Shut it down. Do not touch anything! This could be what we've been waiting for. It's ripping itself apart! Shut it down, now! We could destroy the whole base! Nine! Give it time. For once! Trust me. What's it doing now? It's... working. Sir, new data is inbound from the hyperwave uplink. deployment site is in the UK. It looks like we got lucky. The alien crash site is in a remote area, away from any major city centers. We should get down there and secure the site ASAP. They've been protecting this ship with their most advanced technology. So it's safe to assume whatever they've gotten there is crucial to their invasion effort. We should expect heavy resistance. They're not going to make this easy on us. I'm on it, Commander. Hostile unit located. Commander, that device, 
It seems to be of great importance to them. Retrieving it for further study should be our highest priority. from a cloaked ship and guarded by the most powerful being we've ever encountered. What do you think it is? An object of immense power. Think of all we could do if we unlocked its secrets. A dangerous sentiment, Doctor. Sir, I'm picking something up. Another cloaked ship? No, sir. It's big. Tell me that was a coincidence. Wish I could, sir. That seismic event originated directly beneath our new contact. Nothing we have would even make a dent in that thing. If you two have any more bright ideas, now's the time. Once our volunteer enters the chamber, there is no turning back. This is what we've been working towards this whole time. We likely will not be able to make any developments beyond this point. With each of our major victories, we have encountered incrementally more powerful aliens. After the first alien craft was shot down, they began a campaign of terror. The alien forces were led by a sectoid commander, a powerful psionic creature. Upon capturing the hyperwave beacon, we detected a cloaked ship carrying a being of incredible psionic power. Having captured the device it sacrificed itself to protect, an immense alien ship has now appeared within our atmosphere. We can only assume that a being of even greater psionic power is on board this vessel. We have already pushed human evolution so far, and I fear where the next step will take us. But our enemy leaves us with no other choice. A new type of weapon is required. At long last, you have succeeded where we have failed.
We watched and waited. So many promising subjects. So many failed efforts. And now, after untold trials, the new one emerges to face the rigors of our collective. An enduring physical form, paired with an equally adept mental capacity. The rarest of traits, finally within our grasp.